a little lucky there. He, he gets a chance for a new fight, pretty much. He, he comes out, he gets another round. Now, uh, Noah is out of Team American Fighter, which is out of Center Reach, uh, Long Island. A lot of good fighters out of uh, American Fighter out there. Oh, great fighters. I know them very well. I've trained with them. Uh, Andy Leone is pretty much their top dog. Yep. He, uh, he just had a recent big win over Chris Grand Mason, uh, noted as one of the top uh, featherweights in the Northeast. And a uh, big win for him. Uh, he just had shoulder surgery, but uh, I expect him to come back uh, tearing up the pro ranks of the Northeast. Yeah, I agree. And, uh, yeah, he... Um He's coming off that shoulder surgery, but uh, I think he's going to be fighting in November or December. Yeah, he said it's only a torn labrum, so it, it shouldn't be too much. And he, uh, he said he's still getting his cardio in, so I, I expect him to be fine. He's, he's coming off a big one. He's still confident. Now he gets a little chance to fine-tune some stuff, work on his fighters. Right, and now here we go for the second round of the scheduled three rounds. Round two. First ever ASC fight. Fighter showing a lot of sportsmanship. Ooh, Dominic looks intense, but he just Dominic does not look right on his feet. I, he's he's coming in tr trying to throw big punches, he's possibly open himself. He lands a big kick to the face right there. Noah kind of ducked into that one. It's sometimes hard to fight these uh, unorthodox fighters. You know, you don't. It's hard to prepare for. You know. He, you can get hit with that one big shot that, that ends your night. Yeah, Do Dominic is actually, yeah, he, he's, uh, he's kind of a strange striker there. He looks like he's loading up from uh, who knows where. Uh, you can kind of see it coming, but you also don't know where the strikes are coming from anyway. Yeah, you could tell the strike's coming, but you don't know what angle. He's, he's constantly turning his shoulders. You know, he, he throws a nice body shot there. He's throwing Noah off a little bit. Noah probably trained with some uh, pretty trained strikers, so it's a little tough when you have an unorthodox guy like this. Yeah, that's true for MMA and boxing as well. You know, I mean, these guys come in, it's like you're just not used to that uh, crazy style. They it's have. tough because you, you prepare for the best. You know, you prepare for someone that's so fine-tuned, but sometimes you don't get that guy. And those are the guys that can beat you. Those are the guys you, you, you don't really worry about, but then you open up and you lose. Yeah, Dominic's just throwing, he's throwing punches in that mid-range and uh, keep him Noah from really stri striking off. Right. Oh, and he, he lands a big right hand. No, oh, and it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt Noah. I think he was moving back and just uh, he was a little off balance. Right. Lands three little right hands and gets himself uh, back into like a butterfly half guard. Now these bouts are sanctioned by the New Hampshire Boxing Commission. Uh, Bob Stevens. We'd like to thank Bob Stevens and also Art Nolan and their staff for doing a great job here at American Steel Cage Fighting. Oh, and he has, a, he has an arm trap behind his back. This this could be very bad for Dominic. He has his arm trapped behind his back, and he's landing huge right hands. This fight could be stopped soon. Noah should just keep throwing punches. They're not going to be blocked. I just don't think he realizes it yet. Doing some of those hammer fists. Oh, he's doing the right thing. Every single one of those punches is pretty much getting through, landing. What Dominic should be doing, he should be trying to push his head away, trying to establish some sort of guard, trying to tie up the arms that are hitting him. Right now, right now, Noah looks like he's content in the guard, not trying to pass. He, he's content pretty flat on his back, not much hip control, not really throwing his legs up or anything. He's lucky that Noah's not really, uh, not really posturing up too much. He's pretty much laying on top of him. He's giving uh, Dominic a chance pretty much to get into the third round. Through some wild right hands there. At least one of them connected. Oh. And we will be going to a third round. I tell you what, I'll give uh, Dominic, uh, Dominic War a lot of credit uh, if he could actually last through that third round because uh, he's taking some beating, but he's, he's a tough kid. Yeah, totally. He, uh, it's, not, it's not a bad strategy. You know, he, he's a little outmatched here, but... Yeah, you get the fight into the third round, you can actually see a little bit of the conditioning that the other fighter came prepared yeah. with. And I'll tell you, you caught a little glimpse of the ring girls, the lovely ring girls as they pass by. Oh, they're beautiful. I mean, uh, Sal Anano and uh, Dave Garofalo spared no expense on this show. And I tell you what, it shows. It's a really first-class production. First-class show from, from A to Z. Uh, production. Uh, they got a beautiful 30-foot ring. Uh, it's, it's a very nice ring, great venue. Circle ring, right? They got good sponsors. They got 
They just have good support. This is, this is a very good company. Very good, very good for their first show too. And uh, and of course, making the matches for American Steel Cage Fighting is uh, Gary Marino. Um, Gary is uh, one of the premier matchmakers. Uh, he's, uh, certainly on the East Coast, he's the premier matchmaker. He's highly touted as the best matchmaker. He he can pick out talent out of nowhere. He he knows fighters. He's he's very smart. He he put together the Cage Fury card with uh, Kimbo Slice and Ray Mercer. So he's 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 used to big fights. Well, you know, with Gary Marino, there's no such thing as an easy fight. No. I mean, he matches them up. He to likes where... he likes crowd pleasers. Right. <laughs> he oh, and oh, a big leg. double leg takedown. Now I walked out onto the cage before. It's a, a pretty solid surface. They've got a nice mat on there, about an inch and a quarter, uh, but it's a pretty, uh, pretty solid surface. Uh, a slam. Who knows? You could see a knockout. Yeah, I don't think many of the fighters even know that. Uh, I, I think if some fighters knew that, they would be trying for more slams. Uh, it's, it's really bad when you get slammed on a hard surface when you don't expect it. You know, it could rile you up. You could put you out of position. It could hurt you. Now this, this cage here. This is built by uh, Odyssey MMA. And um, they also run a school. The people who built this cage, Odyssey MMA, runs a school in Virginia. Uh, you can check them out at odysseymma.com. And for all the active duty military watching today, uh, you can train free over at Odyssey MMA. So check those guys out. They're doing some good stuff. Get out stuff. there, guys. So here we are about halfway through the third round. Uh, Noah Fawn's uh, cruising his way to a decision victory. He's won two decisions in the past. Uh, I don't. He, he's had about. He's had three fights that have gone into the third round. He, he can prove his milk a decision here. I don't know what kind of uh, tenacity he has to finish this fight. You know, I think uh, Noah uh, with Fonz, uh, if the opportunity presented itself, you know, he was looking to bang out Dominic War. But I think he he's happy to you know just uh, yeah. tough out the decision. Yeah, and it's good that he's still in the amateur. He can still work on those like certain little things. Uh, he's still winning, but he has certain other things to work on. Uh, little posturing here and there, striking, but he's doing great though. Dominic trying to be a little active, more active down on the bottom now, moving his hips. He should, I just don't, no, that's what Noah should be doing right there. That's what he should have been doing the whole fight. Cause he, he's gonna get himself a TKO victory right here. Yeah, boy Dominic War is tough. He's taking some big shots. The fight is it's about to be stopped, a couple more shots. He might get reversed here, and he is. He's, he's about to get reversed. Oh, he, oh, but he's got the arm. And the fight is over, winning by an armbar, nice. Noah Font. You thought the fight was going to get reversed, and he comes out and takes an arm and finishes it. Yep, Dominic Ward turtling, but uh, Noah knowing those submissions, and uh, he got his. Very good fight. All right, now that's a great uh, first fight here at American Steel Cage Fighting. And now he pr improves his record to nine wins and zero losses. Expect to see him possibly on an ASC show in, in uh, September. Who knows? Actually, I think his record is actually a ten and zero now. Oh, it's not ten and zero. You know, it, it's My very fault. tough with, with the with the amateur ranks. It's very tough because you know th there's a lot of different organizations trying to keep track of these things. It's, it's hard. It's hard to follow the databases and. Uh, a lot of these amateur fights, the promoters don't put the fights on their internet. You know, it's, it's, it's hard to, it's really hard to even scout a fighter when you're fighting someone in the amateurs. You never know if they're undefeated or not. It's okay, and now we're ready for the official decision. Let's go up to Chris Garrity. Ladies and gentlemen, this now comes in two minutes, 21 seconds of round number three. Here we go. Chris Gary doing his usual great job in there. I first met Chris at the, uh, the Kimbo Mercer.